Hey guys, what's up? So today, we're gonna see how to convert the S7 or the S7 Edge into the all new Samsung Galaxy S8. So let's get started. Make sure you have around 50% of battery life. Do check your model number before downloading. And you need to have a custom recovery installed. For that, watch my previous video. Start by powering your device down. Start by pressing the volume up, home and power button all together. Wait for the Samsung Galaxy S7 logo to pop up and then leave them to boot into recovery. And download the ROM and the kernel from the links in the description box below and save them into your SD card or your phone. Go to backup and swipe to backup. This will backup your current ROM and data. Click on install. Go to the folder where the ROM was saved at. Select it and swipe to install. This will take you to an installer. Hit next. Agree to the terms and conditions. Hit agree and hit next again. Select full wipe. Select India or Vietnam depending on your location. This won't matter, so don't worry. Now select whatever you want for the camera or the gamepad. Hit install now. Wait for the installation to complete. It might take a couple of minutes. Once done, hit next. Uncheck auto reboot and then hit finish. Go back and flash the kernel similarly. If you are getting these fail to mount errors, just go into wipe and hit format data. All these errors will go away. Go back and select reboot then system. The first boot takes around 7 to 8 minutes so be patient. So the phone has finally booted up. I am gonna quickly set up the phone. Let's take the Android version. As you can see, it is running on Android Nugget 7.0. This is a complete port ROM from the S8 for the S7. Everything works out of the box, including network, data, Wi-Fi. Basically, everything works right out of the box. Let's take the camera. I selected the S8 camera in which both the camera mode and the video mode work perfectly without any issues. The overall performance of the phone is very good, even better than the stock S7 Nugget ROM. That was a bit laggy, but this is quite smooth. You also get the Edge panels, App Edge, People Edge, Smart Select. This will work better if you have the Edge model of course. You get all the features from the S8 into the S7 or the S7 Edge since this is a direct port from the S8. Other such features available are Game Tools, game launcher, one-handed mode, camera shortcut, etc. The fingerprint sensor also works fine. The ROM is from the S8 so it prompts you to check the sensor on the back but we have the S7 so it's on the front. The performance of the sensor is also similar as it was before. So on and all a very good ROM and can be easily used as a daily driver. Do try out this ROM and let me know what you think about it. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.